Yes, boys, how are we all doing today? So we've got another video for you. Um, this one is quite an important one. So a lot of people have been asking um, what sort of staking plan they should use, what percentage of their bank they should do um, when they're placing bets, when should they increase it, when should they decrease it. So this video will just basically give you two different options on how to do your staking plan and it should help you. It should help you quite a lot. Now, if you're new around here and you're into football betting and you want to improve your win rate um, and get better, basically, overall, then this is the right channel for you. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and check out all the other videos. And yeah, we've got a great community growing here. We've also got a Telegram account, which is completely free. The link is in the description below. Click that, join the group, and you'll get free betting insights and some free tips, etc. It's free, so get in there. So we have two options when it comes to um, the two staking plans I've got. So option one, I would say it's best for pre-match betting because you've got a, a little bit more time to calculate what stake you want to do. Okay, so let me bring up option one, um, which you can do. I would recommend that you use this if you do pre-match betting and you only do, say, one to three bets a day. Um, you're in no rush because this one... It's a little bit more precise, but because of this, it takes a little bit longer just to calculate what stake you want to put in. But yeah, let's dive in. Let me show you how you use it. So this example here, um, let's just say we're starting with a £1,000 bank. And what you do, first of all, you choose what stake you want to use throughout. So between 2 and 10%, I'd recommend. 10% is, to be honest, is very high. I wouldn't go that high. I would stick to around 5%. Now, let's look in the first blue box here. Um, so 5% of 1,000, 50 pounds. So that would be your first bet, how much stake you're gonna do. 5%, 50 pound. So unfortunately, this bet loses. So now your bank is 950 pound. So you now get that 950 pound and take 5% of that. And that will be your stake in bet two. So that works out as 47 pound 50. Um, so now you've got this £47.50 for your next stake and you're going to do a bet which is 2.1 in odds and it wins. So now your bank sits at £1,002.25p. So again, in the next bet, bet three, you're taking 5% of that which is £50.11p. Again, this time you do odds of 3.2, it comes in. So now your bank sits at £1,102.47p, you get that amount, work out 5%, which is £55.12p, and that will be your next stake. So it's, it's quite simple. It sounds a little bit complicated when I'm listening back, but it's, it's really not. So you're just literally taking 5% of your bank every time you do a bet. Quite simple. I say this is best for pre-match because you've got to work out the 5% each time. I know it, you don't have to be a rocket science to work that out, but when you're doing in-play betting, every second counts. And if you're wasting a few seconds working out 5% and all that jazz, your your time is ticking away and something could happen in the game and you've missed your opportunity. So that's why I say this is best for pre-match because you've got a little bit of extra time. And the best thing about using percentages is obviously once you're when you're, when you're building your bank, your stake is increasing with that. And then obviously if you lose a few bets in a row, your stake reflects that. So you've got a much better chance of not blowing your bank away. I've got nothing left. I've got nothing left. <laughs> okay, now let's look at option two, which I would say is best in play. This is what I do personally. So, Again, let's say we have a thousand um, pound starting bank. You choose your two to ten percent stake. So let's go with five percent. So with this, instead of working out five percent every time you place a bet, we do it in levels. So you only have to work it out when you go up and down these levels. Now this is just a quick example I made um, where each level goes up and down by two hundred fifty pound. But obviously, with your own stake, you've got to make your own levels so if you're doing say a starting bank of 100 maybe you do it every 30 pound or every 20 pound that'd be a different level so as you can see here um 
if we look in the middle, 1,000 to 1,250, the 5%, you, you have it as 50. So between that range, it stays as 50. That way you're not having to work out the 5% every time you place a bet. But as your bank moves up and down these levels, then you update your stake. So it's, it's always 5% in each level. It's just you're not working it out every single time. So it just makes it a lot quicker when you're in play. Like I said before, you've got to place your bet really quick. You know what level you're in, so you just place the bet, bang, place the bet, bang. You don't have to get your calculator and work out 5% and all that. It's just a lot simple. It's nothing complicated. And again, as you go down, your stake decreases. And as you go up, the stake increases, which is what you want if you want long-term success with betting. Like I said, um, the staking plan, it doesn't have to be complicated. Just choose option one if you do pre-match. You can do it for in-play if you want. If you're happy to work out the 5% every time and you don't mind wasting a few seconds, fine. Go for option one. It's going to be more precise. Um, so in terms of that, go for that. Otherwise, do what I do, which is option two. You do it by levels. Um, same sort of strategy. It's just it's not as precise, but obviously it's a lot quicker. Okay, and another thing I wanted to touch on was I noticed a lot of comments, not just on my YouTube channel, but others and on Twitter and stuff, wherever, wherever there's some sort of tip star or someone talking about betting, you get loads of comments asking, what's your stake? What's your stake? What's your stake? You, you nosy people want to know people's stakes. <laughs> but honestly, you shouldn't worry about what they're staking because what their bank is is completely different to yours. What their strategy is might be completely different to yours. Um, you know, they might only have £10 in their bank account, so they're doing 50p bets. Um, I'd hope they wouldn't be betting if they've only got £10 in their bank, but whatever, that's a different story. Or they might be a multi-millionaire. You've got Mayweather doing like £1 million on odds of like 1.2 or something. So you you really shouldn't worry about what other people are staking. Just worry about yourself. Um, choose a starting bank, which is money you are willing to lose. And if it all goes in one day, you're not going to stress about it. It's it's money you it's money you've got available to play with. Um, don't be risking crazy shit. Yeah, don't be throwing your life away for betting. Just use what you can, which is sensible, and you're willing to lose. Then you'll be fine. And stick to one of these staking plans, and try your best to not move away from it. Just just stick to it because what happens is people start on a staking plan. They lose maybe two, then they win three. They're like, okay, okay, sweet. And then next thing, they're going to run of losing six, seven games, right? Then they press the panic button and they start lumping money on different bets. They increase their stake. And then next thing, their banks will gone. <laughs> it happens all the time. This is where most people mess up. So if you stick to a staking plan, um, it's going to give you a much better chance of not blowing your bank and losing everything. So yeah, that's basically it, people. As always, I like to keep my betting simple, and this is simple, and it works. Now, if you find this video helpful, please comment below. Let me know if you're going to use it. And also, one more thing. This goes perfect with the logbook video. Um, if you're logging your bets combined with a staking plan, you're going to have a much better chance of doing well on betting. So that video will be up here somewhere. Uh, make sure you click it. Give that a watch if you haven't already. Please like the video. And hit subscribe if you're new around here and you enjoy football betting videos. And make sure you join the Telegram account. And that's it. I shall see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Good luck with all your bets. Ciao, ciao.